I'm going to describe to you in this video how you can learn how to fax on your Hewlett Packard Office Jet 5255 all in one device. Now you can use these instructions for other models of Hewlett Packard printers, the all in ones that include the capability of fax, and I would say any other brand really. The, the procedure is not going to be the same, but the fundamental directions, you know, the generalized terms should be able to help you fax. Okay, let's go over some of the details and then in a few moments I will have the solution which is just some instructions from Hewlett Packard that describes how you can fax from your all-in-one or any Hewlett Packard printer that has the capability to fax. Now here are the pun intended in advance fax from this individual. It's not really a quagmire, it's just ignorance or naivety or lack of knowledge. How do I send a fax? And then what is the brand and model of your printer? This individual acquired a Hewlett Packard Office Jet 5255. This is the first time I've tried to send a fax ever in your entire life. I mean, now <laughs> I thought this was hysterical. I'm not good with computers and printers. Well, I hear this excuse all day long. Here is a time for me to quickly lecture and give you a gold tip. Instead of complaining about the fact that you have little to no experience with computers and printers, obtain training. There are no more excuses anymore. You could browse to your local library, you could drive to your local library, they are most likely will have computer training books. How to use a computer, how to use a fax machine, how to use Windblows, yes, Windblows 10, Microsoft Windblows 10, or, or Apple Mac and crap. That's one avenue. Quick, you could order a book online. There's just no more excuses anymore because it's just absurd. All you have to do is perform basic internet search for computer training. Next. Have you set up your printer for faxing yet? I guess I haven't. Well, what do you mean you guess? That's like an easy yes or no question. Well, I guess. Well, what does that mean? What do you mean I guess I haven't? <laughs> you do not know whether or not you configured your Hewlett Packard Office Jet 5255 for faxing capability? Okay, now here are the instructions. I told you, I told you I would get to it. Oh, that's right. You're... Anyways, let's digress away. Now, here are some quick instructions. Now, these are just generalized terms that you could use for really any, even a basic fax machine that's not a printer. You will want to connect an RJ11. RJ11 are the really small telephone cables. They are not the RJ45 Ethernet cables. They're the really small ones. They're decades old. RJ11 has been around for decades and decades. It's the really th thin, small connection mail type connectors for telephone cable to a phone line and then to the back of your printer so you just grab an rj11 telephone cable and then connect it to the back of your hewlett packard office jet 5255 printer or whatever all-in-one printer that you have that has faxing capability that's all you do you connect it from the phone line jack to the back that's it also and most printers i've ever worked on they are easily identified they identify a, or a phone port compared to an Ethernet port. They're, I mean, it's just so easy. Also, Hewlett Packard has a free one hater number you can use to text fax sync. And then now I'm going to show you some instructions that I've been showing to you on screen. Follow the instructions in the webpage link below and you should be able to fax. And then th this clown, I don't know what, it could be this website or it could be reading comprehension apprehension lack of skills but this clown responded back twice saying well what do I do well you didn't give me instructions well bullshit it, it could be the website this website is a dumpster fire at times it may be or the or trolls oh oh yes you, oh come on now yes as a computer real world computer technician on this third pair website whereby i earn supplemental income answering technology related inquiries 
we are trolled. We've been threatened. Oh, there was a death threat. Did I talk about that? I might have talked about that last year. And I'm not making this up. There was actually a death threat. Now, I didn't receive the death threat, but there was a death threat on this website that I earned supplemental income. A, an, a different technician was threatened with their life. And I documented it. Well, I didn't document it on YouTube, but pri privately I documented it. I contacted the management for this company. I'm not sure. I recommended that they call somebody and report it. That, but that is how disgusting this website is sometimes. Yeah, and yes, we are trolled, just like on YouTube. We are, we are abused. We are name. We're attacked. We're name called. We're. I've been harassed. I've been threatened with lawsuits before. Okay, let's digress away from that. Now, these are the instructions. This, these instructions are kind of lengthy, so it's not like I can just pause, you know, stop and then you can pause and that will be it. No, but you could, you could pause this video as I go over some of these instructions. Now, this article comes directly from Hewlett Packard, Hewlett Packard Customer Support, and it is tailored for Hewlett Packard printers and fax machines. How to fax? This document is for Hewlett Packard multifunction printers with fax and Hewlett Packard fax. Oh, also fax machines. They also sell just standalone fax machines. So what you can do is you either have a Hewlett Packard standalone fax machine or one of the all-in-ones that has fax capability. And you can send documents to another fax machine. And if it's one of the all-in-ones, which is basically a printer, if it's an all-in-one printer, you can actually install the Hewlett Packard software and you can fax directly from your computer. And you, so you could fax documents from your computer and you might not even have to get up and go to the fax machine if you're that lazy. I mean, you know what I'm saying? If the documents are on your computer. Anyways, let's move along. Now, now here is some caveats. It requires a standard traditional landline telephone service voice over internet protocol there are no guarantees you may or may not be able to fax with a Hewlett Packard printer or all in or standalone so that's just a caveat now you could tr certainly try it but like I, uh, like I am stipulating I am not guaranteeing you anything Now, they claim that faxing is considered more secure than sending documents through postal mail or email. I'm not. I'm not sure about that. I don't know about that one. But, well, maybe. I don't know. I'm not. Now, nah, let's move along from that discussion. Now, if you're having problems after you set up fax capabilities for either your standalone Hewlett Packard fax machine or your Hewlett Packard Officer 5255 or any other Hewlett Packard you know, all-in-one printer device, then they have some frequently asked questions that you can check out. But I'm not going to go over any troubleshooting. Now, you're going to want to prepare the printer for faxing. Out of the box, unless you know what you're doing, the all-in-ones, I've worked on quite a few Hewlett Packard all-in-ones. And even if you hook a telephone cable from the wall outlet to the back of the printer all-in-one, you may not be able to fax because you still have to configure your com the computer and you still you still should you could try it certainly and then you could try to just fax directly from the all-in-one printer device but you may you may have to con do some configuration but, but pre preparation that well that's the quick preparation if, if you want to use your computer that's going to require additional steps but quickly just to start faxing what you're going to do is you're going to prepare your Hewlett Packard all-in-one device printer Okay, now again, you want to use a traditional landline telephone service. There are no guarantees that you'll be able to use it with cellular, internet phone, which means voice over internet protocol, PBX, which is a phone system. A lot of corporations use public, what is it? Anyways, PBX, that's an acronym. Or DSL stands for digital subscriber line. Now, some P digital subscriber line is, it, it is RJ11. It is a different, it's not, Fiber is not cable, internet. It uses a RJ11, and then it uses your phone line and your traditional phone service. 
you know, like CenturyLink, AT&T, they provide that. You may or may not be able to fax over that, but you could certainly try. Now you're going to need the telephone cord. I already went over that. Some printers come with a RJ11. Again, it's the really thin, small telephone cable. Now, if you did not receive a RJ11 telephone cable with your printer, make sure that you obtain one that have two wire leads, not four, and there's a small graphic. So right here on screen, the one and two, it's going to have two wire leads in the middle. If it has four, you, it sounds like you won't be able to fax, all right? I would, I, I've never had a problem. Most of the RJ11 phone cables I ran across was was able to work. But just, just, just to be, if, if you need to buy one, you could even go to a thrift store and obtain one. Just look for the one and two, that, look for the two wire leads depicted in that graphic. Now, uh, we already are, went over this. Connect the, and there's even a graphic here. See how easy this is? If you would just, you know, perform a quick internet search. Now, there are, some of these may have two lines, but this one looks like it's one line. And then number two would be external, which mm, I don't know if you could fax off. But just look for the RJ11, which is really small. It's smaller than the Ethernet. Now, some some may have two lines that you could that 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 you could plug into. Okay, so that's all you do. Now, from the wall outlet to the back of your Hewlett Packard printer or fax machine into one line jack on the back of the printer. So look for one line. That's what they recommend. Now, if you have an answering machine, then what you would do is you would connect a RJ11 phone cable cord to the machine and to the number two external jack. So the, 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 on, in this graphic, number two is number one. I mean, number two is for a voicemail, a voice recorder, or maybe you could connect it to a cordless phone or, okay, or an answering machine. Okay, doing so allows your telephone answering machine to record voice calls normally without recording the noises from faxes. So you want to make sure if you do have an answering machine that you do not connect it to the one line or at one or you connect it to two, which is for external. Here's another graphic. And it just, again, the wall jack. Wall jacks are pretty standard, just most homes still have these wall jacks unless they've been removed. Hotels may have them if, unless they've been removed. Just a lot of buildings may have them. And then on the back of your Hewlett Packard Office Jet 5255 or any other Hewlett Packard all-in-one device, you're going to see one line, two for external, and you're going to see two jacks. And we already went over that. Answer machines go for external. You can also connect telephones, but that's going to be for the external. Number one, the one line you want to reserve for faxing capability number one wall jack number two a two-wired phone cord number three the answer machine number four single line telephone okay now this is now that's all you need to do really to fax from the all-in-one or your Hewlett Packard fax machine that's all you need to do if you want to fax from your computer these are some additional steps you're going to have to set up your fax settings and preferences. The Hew now, the Hewlett Packard software includes the fax tool. It's called the Fax Setup Wizard in MicroCrap, MicroSlop, WindBlows operating system. Or there's also a basic fax settings tool for Apple Mac and Crap, also known as Macintosh computers. You can also navigate to the what fax or setup menus on oh on the printer control panel. Now, yeah, you could you could go to the printer. And if you have the Hewlett Packard software that includes the fax tool, you could fax from your computer. But, you, you know, that's another way. But, okay, now, I don't know if I'm going to go over all this. Now, these, well, what time, how much time? Oh, I'm already at 14 minutes. And I'm going to get interrupted here in a few minutes. I'll just continue going on, but quickly. The, now, again, I already showed you how to fax from the all-in-one Hewlett Packard printer or the Hewlett Packard fax machine. These are if you want to fax from your computer. You're going to have to set up the fax header. Okay? It may contain your name, 
the name of your business and your fax telephone number. So you just want to create a fax header. And the header is when you send that fax to an individual or corporation or a secret society. I mean, I'm not sure why you would be faxing to a secret society, but hey, most things in America are secret. I mean, you what you would see is the header. So just be aware that what you set in the header will be legible by somebody else. You can change the answer mode to what a specific number of rings or you could have it automatically answer or you could do it manually. If it's off, a person must manually accept income taxes. So just be aware of that. You could automate it. You could make it pick up after a certain... And if you, if you still use dial-up internet or if you've got a phone line uh, yeah, that you need to accept phone calls, just be aware that you could set it to manual so that you have to accept the fax or you know or you could automate it to so that it the fax machine will accept incoming faxes after a certain amount of rings okay let's move along oh uh, rings to answer when the phone rings the printer waits and counts the number of telephone rings before it yeah you can adjust that i'm not sure what the exact adjustments are a lot of times it's one through i would say six i don't know if it'd be more than that now again if the your telephone line is shared with your voice calls you can choose a number that gives you enough time or if you've got call waiting you know what I'm saying also with an answering machine you they they recommend that you choose a number to pick up to that is two rings more than answer machine so for example if the answering machine picks up after two rings they recommend that you set your fax machine to answer incoming faxes after the fourth ring and then I'll you know what I'm saying that's the automated feature uh, the ring type there's distinctive ring uh, that you could choose dial type uh, tone or pulse I don't know of anybody that uses pulse but it may be still available that's pretty old school I I don't know if I've ever used pulse tone and I've been on this planet for a while <laughs> you know what I'm saying no I'm not gonna tell you how long but you know what I'm saying I wasn't just born yesterday oh I hate cliches now it says if the okay now this could be important if the dial type does not match your service, the printer cannot detect rings and answer incoming calls. So if it doesn't work and the automated or the manual doesn't, you know, accept the incoming fax and it doesn't work or it's messing up your with your local, your phone calls, make sure that most likely, I don't know about other nation states in the United States, most likely it's going to be analog. So did, eh, I wouldn't try Pulse, but... You never know. You might be you might be a hundred years old, and then you've been using. Well, get it? Get it? You still have a pulse. I'm sorry, but oh, I'm I'm interrupted. I'll be right back in two like a few seconds. If you still have a pulse, then then you would choose pulse. No, if pulse doesn't work, try tone. But it's most likely going to be tone, according to my experiences. Anyways, fax volume you can change the volume of the incoming faxes and dial tones and busy signals and whether or not you're being wiretapped by the government I mean you can set it to off you can mute you, you can mute it if you want silent faxing okay that's an interesting feature now this is with the software again let me reiterate this is if you install the Hewlett Packard software onto your computer and it has the fax tool which I think by default it will install it I, I can't tell you that for every computer, or every printer, but my experience is yes. Now, you can do it. Now, this is very helpful, and this is a tip that I give to my constituents. I mean, my victims of my brainwashing. I mean, the individuals that I allegedly help with their information technology problems. The, Hewlett Packard has one, this telephone number that I highlighted. What you can do, it's toll free too. You're, you don't, you do not get charged. You've set up your fax machine, whether it's just out of the box manual, so that you have to go to the either all in one printer or the Hewlett Packard fax machine and send the fax from there. Well, who are you going to fax? It could be midnight. If you dare fax your wife that is separated from you and lives in a mansion while you live in a dilapidated apartment, I digress. You, who are you going to fax without pissing off? Well, Hewlett Packard has a free fax number that is designed to so that you can test so you can test sending a fax to this 800 number and yeah, okay 
you can so you can perform fax testing now this is on the printer if you go to the printer there's a control panel you will look for the run fax test or the fax test report button or option it may have a LCD liquid crystal display it may not just be a button it may be a menu option so look for those two either run fax test or fax test report in the, the and then under fax in the setup so go to setup then look for fax then look for either fax test report or run fax test and then you even get a printout a print of the, your test results will tell you if there's any problems and then like I said before you can use that 800 number that's on screen well it's one eight 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 four seven three twenty nine sixty three. The service receives faxes and returns faxes within five to seven minutes to the fax number. Oh, oh, it's a, I did not know that. It's a double whammy. I mean, not only can you send out a test fax, it'll respond and send you back a, a test fax. So you can test both incoming and outgoing. That, that's pretty, you know, I don't give these fascist, crooked, crim, well, some of these. I don't give some of these, you know, big time corporations many props or you know what I'm saying normally but that that's not a bad that's a pretty decent service there okay now to send a fax now this is from if your printer, not not from the fax itself S send a fax from your printer by now you're gonna have to load your the documents you want to send in the automatic document feeder so look for it all right Mo most of the all-in-ones have it then what you're going to do is dial the receiving fax telephone number from the printer control panel. So it looks like, yep. So you have to go to the printer if you're using the automatic document format. There is a feature, though, with the software that if, you, if the document is in Adobe Portable Document Format, if it's a Word document, I would say even images, you could just go to your computer, open up the fax tool from Hewlett Packard, and then enter in the telephone number, and then choose the document and then you can fax from your computer I know for a fact because anyways I don't want to digress I mean I, I was using my computer to fax since what the 1990s yes and I'm not making that up it's a lot more convenient but let's let's move along and then what you do oh you can also use a scanner glass so you could load the document face down on the scanner let's say you don't have an automatic document feeder or it's broken or it doesn't work oh yeah I've noticed a lot of automatic document. Oh, here's an additional tip. I'll interrupt myself and interject. A lot of these auto automatic document feeders in these printers, over time, they start to fail. What happens is that the print, the paper gets jammed, or they, it's blurry, or it it, the, it pulls the paper and, and it, it's crooked. Well, that's kind of an intentional pun about the system. Maybe that's why I'm anarchist. I mean, let's let's. Well, I I dare not talk about that because I'll just get my entire YouTube channel terminated. Okay, now here's a, a, an additional tip. This could be a gold tip. I'll make it quick, fast. When it comes to printers, there's a lot of rollers involved, and one of the rollers is where the automatic document feeder is. I can open up this image. I don't. I, you can't. Right. You see where my mouse cursor is. You see where it, the black arrow is pointing you to how to load the paper face down or face up. And then you, you see right here where my mouse cursor is. Underneath there, look for rollers. I think they may be here. So the, the paper gets fed in side. Or even, no, 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 not even, no, 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 probably back in here further. Look where Look for where the paper is actually pulled into the actual printer. There's going to be some rollers for the automatic document feeder. The most times are made out of either rubber or plastic, and they get filthy. What you can do is you can take water and or isopropyl alcohol, which is known as rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol evaporates quickly, so it's pretty safe for electronics, according to my experiences. So clean, clean it off with water and do and do a good job. Whatever you know, just take you know, just. Rub, rub as hard as you can, I mean, so that your fingers become, I mean, no, just clean it with water and or isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol that you can get at Walgreens or wherever, 
and that might fix the problem of the paper getting jammed or it doesn't feed properly and here and then that's a gold tip because you can use it for anywhere any even in a fax machine fax machines printers any technology that pulls paper in look for the rollers plastic or rubber and clean them okay now let's move along oh, this video is already too long okay so blank paper is loaded into the input tray okay I'll make sure the phone line is not currently in use by your daughter or your wife and you pick it up and they yell at you and then she, your wife threatens to divorce you okay you can pick up your phone connect to the same phone line if you're having problems and look check for dial tone if you do not re now fax machines and all-in-one printers with fax capabilities they have to have a dial tone so if there is no dial tone they will not work I'll dial the receiving number including the area code if it's outside your area code what else oh you may have to dial nine if you have call waiting I think what you would dial nine so you may have to dial initial number even at a hotel you may have to dial eight or nine and then the number and then you may have to include the the, the area code if it's beyond, is if it's not in your local code area code you know what I'm saying you may have to enter in the long distance country code if you're if you're faxing long distance what else now in order to send a fax with Hewlett Packard you would press the black color or send button so look for the black button the color button or the send button just send the fax now if you never fax before if you hear a busy signal that just means that the other end is on a phone call or yeah the receiving fax phone line is busy you'll have to try later that's all that means busy signal just it's just like when you call somebody you call your girlfriend and it's always a busy signal oh you, you know why that is because she's not talking to you she's talking to her other boyfriends i mean give, i mean get come on i mean you didn't know that okay let's move along and that should be suspicious if you try to attempt to contact your girlfriend or wife and it's always busy. Well, you just might want to f just fuck that and get a different girlfriend or wife. Or you could just say, f just forget all that foolish foolishness and just, okay, let's move along. Now, if somebody answers that phone, they may actually still be able to manually accept your facts. So just be patient. Or you could, or, or if they keep talking... <laughs> and they keep yelling at you and they start cussing at you and they drop the fuck bomb then yeah you may want to cancel you could cancel the facts from the front panel or from the software oh now this is important if you've never faxed before you're going to hear a really high pitch noise very high I, you know what I'm saying that means that the fax is being sent okay if success, well, even if not successful, you may or may not receive a printout. And you can read the report, it'll tell you some information, and it'll tell you if it aired out. And it may even give you an error code so that you can further troubleshoot. Now, if you want to receive a fax, it's on your, again, this is with your computer. You have to set up, you have to follow the previous instructions, and then you can look for either the setup menu or the fax menu, or look at, go to setup and look for fax. Again, you could automate it and select it to auto answer you can change the number of rings blah 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 you can press the fax or black on the control panel when you hear oh you could actually manually answer an incoming fax too you could do that too you would look for the black button or the fax button to answer the incoming fax you can change the number of rings again it's recommended to what set it to two more rings than Let's say you had an answering machine. We already went over that at the beginning of this video. Just set it, set it. If your answering machine is set to two, set your printer, well, your fax machine or, or all-in-one printer with fax capabilities to four. Okay. Oh, duplex fax printing. Some printer models support printing incoming faxes on both sides of paper. That's what duplex means. If you've never heard that term that in computing, duplex means do for, I think, like duality, which means two. Duplex printing means you can print on both sides of your printer paper. So if you want to conserve printer paper, you can. Now the printer has to have that capability. Not all printers do, and I don't even think all Hewlett Packard printers do. I'm not sure if they're the Hewlett Packard fax machines have duplex. They may or may not. But that's what that means. 
And you can even print your faxes on both sides. That just conserves paper. You have to. I think you have to enable it. I'm not sure, but I, I'm not aware of it, that any of these printers by default or fax machines have it enabled. But you would want to turn on two-sided fax printing. That's that's another the way it's also articulated. So look for duplex fax printing or look for two-sided fax printing. Okay, now set up. I'm not going to go over any of the frequently asked questions because this video is already too long. Set up the Hewlett Packard digital fax to say fax to computer email. Now this is very important. You have to install the Hewlett Packard software. You, the fax tool has to be installed. You have to go through the previous instructions. Now, this is for incoming faxes. You can automatically save incoming faxes to your computer. Yeah, you could be at, at you know dating your mistress. I mean, you could yeah you could you don't have to be home. So you can configure your computer to automatically accept faxes, and it'll save it to your computer, or it'll send it to an email. Now, caveat emptor. Not all Hewlett Packard all-in-one printers with, with faxing capabilities have the email option. And it I don't know for a fact, but it may be that not all Hewlett Packard fax machines have the email option. So you, you just want to look for it. Look for it. It's most likely going to be in the settings. If you have a liquid crystal display, which is a digital display, go into the the panel control panel or go into the software on your computer and go into the settings and look for email look for yep what it will do is the incoming fax will get delivered to the email that you specify in the settings you have to have an internet connection you have to have an email address that you have access to but a lot of times in corporate environments they configure email a fax to email is what it's called. Look for a fax to email option. But you can also have it saved to your computer as well. As an option to print incoming faxes, you can automatically save incoming faxes to your computer, a folder on your network. If you choose the network option, you'll have to have access to a local network drive. But even at home, you could have a home network set up. Or forward them to an email account. Now it says to go to... you. Use the Hewlett Packard digital fax to receive faxes to computer. So you would want to look up this page. It's the you know, resource located there. It's at the top of the screen. And then you would click on this link, and it will give you more instructions on how to configure the digital fax to receive faxes to either your computer or a network share or your email. And I'm not going to go over all those details. And I'm not going to go any over these frequently asked questions. Now, this could be some troubleshooting, too. It says, what if I cannot send or receive faxes or I get an error message? Can I fax if I only have cell phone service? Now, they do have the, that option. Um, it, it, it's possible, but I already went over that. There is no guarantees. How do I send? We already showed you that. Can I send or receive a test fax? I already went over that. They have a one 800 number that you can use to both test, send, and receive uh, DSL may or may you may or may not be able to fax with digital subscriber line. I'm not going to go over any all the details. A VoIP internet, same thing. You may or may not be able to. Uh, you can change the report settings. Do they have a? Yeah, you. They have a fax history. You can tr uh, print a log. What else? Oh, call waiting. You cannot automatically receive faxes if the telephone line has voicemail. Yeah, again, we are went over that. What you would do is you would make sure that you cannot, let's see. Oh, you could answer the call from your phone and then accept the fax from the the, the printer. Okay, let's move on. Nah, color, fax, blah, blah. Okay, that's enough. Oh, PBX. Oh, yeah, most environments that I've seen PBX are small, mid to large businesses. You, mm, you would, they would have to have had a PBX converter terminal adapter to set up fax. You may or may not be able to fax from your, let's say you're at work. I'm not sure why, but you know you're a surf and you're at work, and you think you automatically assume you can, you know, fax from your computer or from your your local printer. Maybe or maybe not. You could just ask your. That bastard that wants his TPS reports in all time and threatens you with your job if you do not submit your TPS report. And yes, that is in reference to that goddamn movie. Okay, 
what office space or whatever whatever okay that's it so that is my video pertaining to how to fax on your Hewlett Packard Office Jet 5255 all in one printer or how to fax from any other Hewlett Packard all in one or a printer that has a fax capabilities or Hewlett Packard standalone fax machines and you could use these instructions they're not going to be the same but you could use these as as a general just general instructions on how to fax with other you know Canon Lexmark Canon I think has a fax tool Lexmark a fax tool on your computer Canon Lexmark Oki data they, they may have you know the send to computer faxes send to email and so that is my video adios